Welcome everybody to today's session. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that I believe everybody can relate to. And that is the topic of stress. Who hasn't experienced stress in their life? Probably nobody. So again, my hope of this is for you and that you can gain something from this. Because stress can affect us in a lot of different ways. Obviously it can affect us emotionally. It can affect us physically. A lot of research out there that says a lot of physical illness and a lot of reasons people are going to their doctor is stress induced. It can also affect us spiritually. So stress can really have a huge impact for the negative obviously in our life. And I want to give you some skills and some tools of how to cope with it or how to be aware of it and reduce it as much as possible. We can never eliminate it from our life. Life is stressful at times. And so we have to learn how to prevent it as much as possible and then also how to cope with it to the best of our ability. And today we're going to be talking about a tool that's pretty common and you may have heard of before. And that is the tool of HALT. H-A-L-T. H stands for hungry. You know as well as I know that when we're hungry, our ability to deal with stress or unpleasant situations in our life is significantly impaired. I know when I'm hungry, I really can't think of anything else except for eating. And you may be the same. And so we really got to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves nutritionally. Not just eating, but what we eat. A lot of therapists don't talk about nutrition, and I don't pretend to be a nutritionist, but I do want you to be aware that what you eat, how much you eat, and how often you eat can really affect, again, your ability to deal with stress effectively. So be aware of that. I want to mention three ingredients that we want to either reduce or completely stay away from to help us deal with the stress in our life. And those three ingredients are sugar, caffeine, and nicotine. They're all stimulants and they all can amp us up, increase our anxiety, increase our stress, or in, increase our ineffective ability to deal with stress. Now sugar and caffeine, you may not be able to or want to eliminate from your diet completely. And I can get that. I'm all about balance and moderation. Just be really aware of how much you're intaking in correlation to how much stress you're experiencing in your life. Nicotine's a whole different story. I would encourage you to eliminate that completely. Um, it's not rocket science. That's not good for you at all. Um, but it is a stimulant and it will affect your ability to deal with stress. So again, be aware of your nutrition altogether and make sure you're getting good nutrition and eating throughout the day so you can deal with stress more effectively. <clears throat> A stands for anger or any intense emotion. When we're emotional or our emotions are high, we don't deal with stress very well and we don't make good choices. And so we really want to be able to learn good and effective emotion regulation skills. There will be plenty of videos on that all by itself. For this video and this purpose today, just be aware of your emotional state and do those things that calms you down, brings peace into your life, and reduces intense emotions that can create stress and or make stress worse in your life. L stands for lonely. And when we're alone or we're feeling lonely or withdrawn for other, from others, that's going to diminish our ability to deal with stress as well. Connecting to others, connecting to our loved ones, connecting to our friends can really help us deal with stress. Yes, people can cause stress in our life and we may need to withdraw as a tool and take a time out. But prolonged and chronic loneliness can really increase our stress or decrease our ability to cope with stress effectively. So you really want to be aware of that and make sure you have good positive connections in your life. 
Finally, T stands for tired. When we're tired or we're not getting enough sleep or the quality of our sleep is poor, our ability to deal with stress is going to be low or poor. We really want to make sure we're getting good rest and getting enough of it. There's HALT, H-A-L-T, hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. Be aware of these things in your life, and if they're present, make some changes and do something different to help you deal with stress more effectively in your life. I would love to hear from you, so please, in the comments below, let us know, let me know, let people that are watching this know how one of these four things has affected your ability to deal with stress, or how when you've made changes in these areas, it's done better for you. How it's allowed you to cope with stress better in your life. If you enjoyed this video, or it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and please share it with those who may also ben benefit from it. Until next time, make it a great day, make it a great week. Look forward to talking to you soon.